Wow, look at this gorgeous lake, you guys. Just love it out here. So pretty. So pretty indeed. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do a new prospect. I don't know what it is yet, but we'll figure it out. However, I got to thinking, if you watch the last episode, I was, I was looking at this backpack and I decided that I was going to wait and save up to get the bow. I think I changed my mind. I think we're going to get this backpack now because minus 45% carry weight of ores and wood is just enormous. This is going to help so friggin' much. Um, so, you know, we are going to give up the falling resistance, but, you know, we'll just have to be more careful with that. Uh, so we're going to do this. So research and craft. Okay, it's done. Uh, so we're, <laughs> we don't have a lot left, uh, you know, for these. So it's, it's going to take us a few more prospects before we can get to the bow, but that's okay. I think having this backpack is going to just, you know, help us out tremendously <clears throat> as we move forward here. So, uh, okay. So let's go back to here and it's time for a new prospect. So I haven't re even really given a whole lot of thought as to what we will do next. Um, so... What's this spirit level business? Gather geological glacier data. I don't know, man. I'm, we've been in the snow quite a bit, it seems. Let's do something different for a change. Uh, like, you know, can we get to Riverlands now? We unlocked Riverlands with Waterfall Expedition. So does the incursions gather Riverlands data for new drops? Yeah, okay. So why don't we do this? Let's try the Riverlands out. What do we get for it? They want terrain 200. scans from some of the new territory coming online so they can chart new drop zones. It's a whole new world out there, but not till you get the data they need. If you're ready for it. Okay, so this is probably going to be the usual scan here, get charged by animals kind of thing. But because it's in the Riverlands, I think we're going to want at least, again, a shotgun and probably a bolt rifle. Um... It's only a, it says it's only a one skull difficulty though, uh, and it gives us seven days to do it. So, hmm, I don't know. Let's just let, let's just do it. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna switch out for this backpack here. We got all the rest of our starter stuff there. Confirm loadout, and let's rock and roll. I'll see you guys down on the planet. open up this place to prospectors they need drop zones and before that they need terrain data they want radar scans of certain areas the first one's marked on your map grab a radar and let's get going oh this is where we um put the little marker thingamadoodle in the waterfall um mission right on that little rock out there okay cool um, okay, so knowing how these missions work, even though we are in the Riverlands, we're gonna try, we're gonna try and fast, fast mode this or speed run it. Um, meaning that I'm just gonna get a longbow and some flint arrows, and not go any, and you know, some leather armor and not go any further than that, and just see if we can pull it off. Um, so that being the case, let's get uh, our stuff situated here. So we got our awesome backpack on. Uh, we want to put this in here. We want to, we'll eventually put that in there. Axe goes in six, pick, or knife goes in one, pick goes in four. All right, so, yeah, let's uh, get started here with the usual. We'll get some wood, we'll get some fiber, we'll get some sticks, all that kind of stuff, some stones. And just get, you know, the basic stuff going. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to maybe try and just do this without you know, gearing up significantly and see if we can just knock it out. Uh, we are going to get attacked by creatures, of course, and at least one of those sets of creatures, I'm sure, will be bears. But, you know, if we can play our cards right, we might be able to to take them on uh, without having to grind to the guns. Alright, guys, we are at the location of the scanner. 
up on top of this waterfall here. Come here, bunny. And so I figured we'd grab this and then we'd just set up a little shack here just so we can get a crafting bench down to get the longbow made. And uh, we're going to have to find a mine or a cave somewhere just so we can get some iron to make flint arrows. And I'm going to just attempt this quest uh, just with that weapon, basically. All right, so grab that. Okay, now let's see, where do we got to go? So we have to go north, south, yeah, a lot of, lot of traveling, dog on it. Okay, man, this is such a gorgeous biome, though. I really like it. We've already evaded one bear. Okay. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's see, we got to go up that way, right? So why don't we just go over to this side of the river and, and set up a little shack. I have no idea where a mine is, though. Uh, or I keep saying mine, a cave, because this whole area is new to me. It actually would probably be better if we were near a cave uh, for our little shack that we set up. So let me look around a little bit and see if I can figure out where one is while we're while we kind of move towards our first scan point. I know I can look at uh, you know the maps and stuff they have online, but I don't like to do that in an area that's brand new. I like to discover stuff. You know, once I've been through the area, like the normal forest biome, for example, I don't mind you know looking at stuff like that just to remind me where stuff is but for the first time around i want to try and discover as much as i can on my own because that's how i roll man that is how i roll all right looks like uh we have a cave over here and we have some fish too place is so pretty oh wow look at this place holy crap man it doesn't have like the cave debuff either this is amazing oh my goodness look at all the ore and stuff in here too wow okay <laughs> Um, this is cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Okay, well, let's do this. Um, we're really close to the first scan point. I mean, it's just right here. Anyway, so why don't we, is this considered shelter? Can we put our, uh, can we make a bedroll, put it down and see if that works? Because then we wouldn't even have to build a structure at all. hold the set spawn point uh yeah it's shelter okay cool so let's make ourselves a campfire then too we're gonna have to get some stone um probably not gonna find any stone in here at all what a neat place i did not know this place was here so we have fish that we can make for food uh, which will be good for healing food too i'm sure we're gonna need it before this mission's done and uh so yeah I'm gonna what I'm gonna do then since we know we have lots of ore and stuff in there I'm gonna just get a bunch of wood and a bunch of stone and bring it in there um, maybe gather a little more oxide and sulfur and stuff like that too and then um, oh yeah there's the there's our, our thing module right there okay um, and you know get get a crafting bench set up and get the longbow going and some flint arrows and then when I'm ready I'll bring you guys back and we'll tr try this first one and see how things go oh shit we got a bear after us got a nice crit there oh shit Got him. Whew. Okay. 
Um, we are just about ready to go. I was just out gathering a little bit more uh, resources here so we can make a nice bundle of flint arrows. And we also have uh, deep wounds from that dude, so let's get that fixed up. Really, really like this location, though. Let's grab a few more fish on our way back. These guys will come to us. Sometimes we can knife these bigger guys. They get too close to us like that. That was the wrong way to turn there, buddy. Alright, this one's coming in. And this one, too. So I gathered some um, wheat and some corn, and we got fish, which is what we're going to use for our protein. <laughs> and um, I'm, we might make some flatbread too, just because it's you know so so good with stamina. <laughs> and I uh, also made up uh, a little some ingots just so we can make some basic iron tools. Uh, because, you know, I've already lost my M MXC pickaxe and my knife is over halfway down. Uh, we're also going to need to make the herbalism bench here. So let's get that going so we can make dough. All right, we're just going to pop you down here. Grab a few more ingots out of here. And we want to make a pick and an iron knife. So for the pick, we need some wood. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to get this out of here too and put it in our O2 slot. All right, let's craft the pick. The knife is going to need two iron nails, so we'll make some of those, and then we'll do that. And we don't really need anything else out of here for this mission. Okay, so we'll keep the knife with us when, once that one breaks in. Let's put the MXC back up here, put this one down in that slot. Very good. Now let's grab this and just set it down wherever. And uh, we need, oh, we need to make um, a mortar and pestle so we can grind the flour as well. And we're just about there, getting close. But we'll stick that right there, get the wheat in there. This, we're not gonna make a ton of this, but it'll be enough to I think get us through what we need to do for this mission. Uh, let's put some more fish in here and get that cooking up. And let's see, what else can we do whilst we're waiting here? Um, let's get rid of this. And here, we'll just consume that. No, we don't, I guess we don't need to. So we're just going to drop that. Oh, corn. Um, let's just throw this in here too. But we probably won't actually use the charred corn. We'll see how things go. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Flour. Let's start working on some of that. We're going to have to put our water thing in here. Only three, eh? <laughs> it's not going to give us a lot. Man, this cave is just amazing. It's... uh. It's a place I would definitely consider coming to if we end up doing another really long prospect in this area. I wonder how far back it actually goes. It looks like it goes a long way back. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. This is amazing. It just keeps going. It's got platinum. Does it have titanium? Oh, well, I guess we can't go any further than that, though, eh? Let's get back there. Yeah, we're at the like northernmost end of the map. Well, why put ours over there if we can't get them? I mean, there's still plenty though. <laughs> we got copper and iron. We got a platinum over there. There's some titanium. Yeah, it looks like it's got everything in here. That is just amazing. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to business here. Aluminum in here. Very nice. We'll get the rest of this. And turn that into flour. It's going to give us five pieces of uh, bread, which might last us if we if we just really hustle. We'll see how things go. Okay, 
let's grab both of those out of there. We'll put the bread in here. And let's pull the fish out. And the bread will be the next thing that'll cook. And then we'll finish up the fish afterwards. Okay, now uh, we're going to put all of this leather in here. We don't need this bow and arrow. Let's destroy that. Put all that in there. And uh, this can go back in our water slot. And let's just make as many of these as we can. 56. So we should be able to make... Can we make more of those? After we run out of ore? Yeah, yeah, because this is telling us there will be 56 left over. So let's uh, hit a couple more ore. We're just going to load up on these arrows and, uh, and then just go. All right, it gives us 99 arrows. If that's not enough to get the job done, we better just wrap things up and go home right now. Um, why? Oh, you're working on meat. No, no, no. I want you to work on bread, not meat. All right, so, yeah, I think... I think we're pretty much ready to go. We're just waiting on the food. Um, so, we'll wait for that to get done, and then we'll go over to our drop spot and try the first quest. We do have our bed rolled down in here and our spawn point set in case things go wrong. And then what I'm going to do, once we set out, is I'm going to take the bedroll with me and just carve out a little hole uh, in rocks or find a new cave nearby for each one. So that way if we die, we're really close by. Okay, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay. I think we're ready to do this. We have a minor windstorm, but not too worried about a minor windstorm. Let's go over to our quest location and set the thing down and see what attacks. I'm sure we're going to get bears. I'm sure we're going to get wolves. I don't know what the third thing is that will attack us. But we will find out. This is the zone. It's around here somewhere. All right. That's it. Systems here we go. Online. Get ready to rock and roll, man. Wonder which direction they're gonna come from. Here. Yeah, think so. Heads up. Heads up from where? Uh, whatever's coming at me, I have no idea where it's coming from. Uh, there's a problem. Of course Start there is. The unit back up or this is going Oh, it's just wolves. Okay. High level wolves, though. Man. Give me my freaking arrows back, dude. Yeah, got that one. Did I get them both back? I don't think so. Collect the station. <laughs> Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to go grab our bedroll and then move to the next location. You know what I could do, I guess, is, well, nah. I was going to say I could just make a new bedroll, but. If we happen to be unfortunate enough to die before we get to the next site, it'll bring us back in near the pod anyway. And we are, we have to go back down that direction, so... Alright, you guys. I will see you um, down at the next area. I'm going to go... I'm going to go back to the pod and drop off my MXC stuff, and then I'll meet you guys down at um, this one here. See you in a bit. All right, guys, I've got uh, my bedroll under a rock near the next location. Uh, speaking of which, let's just actually drop these. Well, you know what we ought to maybe do is make a campfire. Um, that way, if we decide to sleep the night here, we can. So we just need a little bit of fiber and sticks. 
grab that. What time is it? Yeah, it's 1700 hours. So we'll probably actually end up spending the night here after we do this next part of the quest. Uh, so let's put that down there and we'll just put some sticks in it. Okay, let's run over here and get this done. See what they're going to throw at us this time. do can I get up here Ooh, I can that might come in handy all right we are gonna have to jump down to restart it but here we go that's it systems online okay let's see what comes I hear a bear down there. This zone's hot. So a little advice. If it moves, kill it. Right. It's pigs coming after us. Stop. Of course it is. Get it back online or you're going to be here for a while. Can't get to me, can you? <laughs> need to put some variation in these quests. I know I say that all the time, don't I? But seriously, come on. It's fun. It's a fun quest. I don't don't mind it, but some but kind of variation would be nice. Check your map for the next zone. Just retrieving as many of my arrows as I can here. He doesn't have any. What about you? He's got one sticking out of his ass. I see it there. Okay, we've got two arrows back. Okay, let's pick this up, go sleep in our little hidey hole, and then head to the next spot, uh, which is way, way to the east. That's going to be quite a run. So, yeah, I will meet you guys over there. Wow, look at this gorgeous lake, you guys. Just love it out here. So pretty. So pretty indeed. If we decide to do another big base build... I might just do it here. Just gorgeous. Um, all right, so our uh, thingamadoodle is way over here. Looks like we have a long swim to get to it. Well, it's pretty deep, too. I wonder if... Uh, I see one fish there, but I don't see a ton of fish in this lake. What if there's an under... Water cave in this one, too. Yeah, there's a fish. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah, there's lots of fish in here. This is... I think this is the largest and deepest lake I've seen in this game so far. What's that? Is that an opening to a cave? Nope, doesn't let us go down any further. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is just neat. There's a hostile piranha fish. It's going to come after us here in a second. Another one. Yeah, neat, 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 neat. I 
just love this lake. It'd be so cool to have a base over here. All right, we got a, a bison over here and a, a wolf and a pig, all kinds of critters. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, let's see if there's a cave up against this wall anywhere first before I dig a hole in a rock to put our, our bag down. Our spawn point. Seems like this would be a good place for a cave. This would be a good place for a base, too. Well, the thing about it, though, is it, it's kind of out of the way, so you'd have to run all over the place for resources, but it's very picturesque. Just having like a little cabin right well, here. here we are. Looking out over you know that lake. Yeah, we know what to do, but we got to get our bed down first. Somewhere that's a little further away from here. Um, can we get it in this stone here? Yeah, maybe. Let's just see. It's going to be tight, but let's see if we can get it done. There we go. Okay, spawn point is set. All right, so for whatever's going to come after us this way, it's probably, my guess is it's going to come across the water. I mean, because anywhere else is like really close to where we are. But if it ends up being bears, we can just kind of kite it along the shore here, I think. Uh, I don't think this little rock here is going to do much for us. And, uh... Not sure if we can get up over here or not. Yeah. I suppose we could build a ramp or something, but I don't really want to cheese it too much here. Yeah, let's just take it head on. And I mean, we got a spawn point set, so if we actually die, then, well, we got a spawn point set. Okay, so let's eat this, let's eat this, and let's have some corn and then we have our fish down here for healing if we need it let's do this good we're reading the station it's active where's it gonna come from you got friends incoming so make it count i think it's i think those are bears yep those are bears okay two bears yeah, you keep getting stuck on the rock. That's a good idea. Looks like the unit stopped. Get it back online or you're gonna be here for a while. Okay, we got one down. Got them both. Okay. Looks like the unit's ready. Alright, that wasn't too bad. my arrow back there we go scans good data's up scans good data's up there's our one of our arrows there you could probably especially if you had points in the in, more points in the bows than I do I've got a few points into bows talents but not a lot um you could probably do this even just with the regular bow and stone arrows. Well, put a bow on it, because you're done here. Okay, I only have 10,000 miles, though, to get back to the pod. <laughs> oh, man, it's just so gorgeous, though. Oh, what do we got? Eh, yeah, minor wins. We're good. Okay, so I'm definitely going to remember this location. It's just gorgeous. And um, if we did do a, a big build over here... Uh, you know, like, especially over there, I'd probably look into maybe building a bridge across the lake or something. Just because it would be such a pain in the ass to have to swim across this thing every time we needed to go out and get something. Uh, what I'm going to do on the way back is I'm going to stay kind of along the south and east, eastern um, canyon walls of the place and just kind of look for mines for future reference. And uh, so I'll see you guys back at the pod unless something crazy happens before then. 
All right, guys, we are back at the pot. Let's get the heck on out of here. Return to station. So yeah, um, this mission could be done without even the longbow and flint arrows, really, I think. Um, especially if you were specced into all the bow skills. Um, but it's just, it, you know, like all of these, it's just a lot of running around is all. But not a, not a difficult mission. And it was fun. It was really neat to see, you know, the Riverlands biome for the first time, really. I mean, we were here once before, but we didn't really stick around to, to look at it, you know, so... Very neat. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's take a look at where we're at. I don't know. We probably don't have enough bank to do anything in the workshop. Let's just look at it, though. Um, so we got 275. And what the next thing we're looking for is this bow. So, yeah, we're going to need 400 to get it. Uh, well, that one or this one. So I do not like 15% movement speed. That is a huge drop. 300 rate of fire per minute. 300 rate of fire per minute. 15 percent. See, I think I would I would take the Jijing bow here because it's five percent less critical damage, but it doesn't screw with our movement, and the arrow speed is faster, which means I'm assuming a, fl a flatter trajectory. Um. So that's probably the one we would go for because I just don't like the idea of losing that movement speed so okay well anyway we um so we have 275 we're gonna need 400 in total to get this so the, our next mission needs to pay us at least 125 in order to get that but guys that is it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and in the next episode we will see if we can find a prospect that will get us that 125 bank or more that we need in order to get the bow because i really want to get that next all right, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.